ERANC Tools Focus. This is found under Shop Tag Report. The ERANC Tag Report analyzes the tags in your listings so you can easily see which of your tags you're using the most, if any phrases are being searched for more or less on Etsy right now, and help you identify if there are any keywords you might want to keep an eye on and even experiment with in more listings. The tag report analyzes 100 listings in your shop with a free account. And if you have more, you can upgrade for 200 active listings on a basic account, all the way up to 5,000 active li listings for an expert account. If you've made any changes on Etsy lately, you want to remember and hit the orange refresh data button on eRank to make sure we're fetching your most up to date data. Here you see the number of different tags eRank has seen you using in the listings it's analyzed. There's no right or wrong number of different tags to use. Then you see the tags you're using, how many times that tag has been used in your shop, and then our great data on the keyword, the estimated averages, searches, clicks, and click-through rate of customers on Etsy for the chosen country. You can change countries to see data in other places you may sell in. Even though I'm in the UK, I keep it to the USA most of the time because Etsy is so much bigger in the US that there is more data there and worldwide trends tend to be similar. But you can switch here if you want to see other countries. I think my favorite bit is the search trend graph here. This shows you for the past 15 months the trend of people searching for the phrases you have in your tags. Here at a glance, I see that a tag I forgot I was using, Scotland, actually has some people searching for it. I know a one word tag is not best practice, so that's already making me think that I need to investigate some phrases containing the word Scotland to add to some relevant listings. I can also see a tag I have, dog sculpture, is very seasonal. It seems the past two years people have only searched for it in November and December, so I want to remember that tag and think about it at the end of the summer. Clicking the grey star beside it adds it to a keyword list so I can hopefully remember to check back in September. Like most eRank tools, I can sort the table by any of the columns if I want to see which tags I have used most or least, the highest competition, average searches, or even the highest searches last month. I just have to click on that column. This tool's not telling you if your tags are good or bad. This depends on everyone's individual strategy, but it's a great way to see lots of information all in one place about the tags you're using. You can save them to a keyword list, check in the rank checker if your listings are ranking for those keywords, add them to Spotted on Etsy to monitor your ranking over time, use the keyword tool to find some alternatives, check in your listing audit for some new listings if you're optimized for these keywords, or what I think I'm going to have to try and do is to find some longer phrases that contain some of these words rather than all of these one word tags. If you don't know why one word tags are not recommended, Etsy has a great article with best practices for using keywords in your listing tags and titles. I'll link it in the description below. It really should be every Etsy seller's bible.